Now I'm going to take you through this walkover drill with a little frame by frame so you can see some of the things that are really good cues for you. We'll go ahead and let him get set up and notice how the legs stay inside the arms. Our hurdlers have a tendency to swing limbs outside the body because it's uncomfortable for them, but I need to force them into the stretching movements and look at how high he gets on the toe when he drives this leg up. He folds the leg up into his chest and then steps down. And let's watch as he goes through. Keep the hands inside. Keep the feet inside the hands. Keep the trail leg inside the hands. Very, very important for balance, for coordination. Look at how everything stays square. Nothing twists over this way or twists over in that direction. Very important that this drill follow those kind of parameters. A lot of coaches do a trail leg slide drill, and I do that as well. And, I, and it's a really good drill for me to help give some cueing uh, coming off the hurdle. I like to make sure that the toe is firmly planted. I try and get a nice high heel. You can pick up another couple of inches. We don't want that foot flat because if this foot flattens out, then you're going to get a little mushing in the knee, a little amortization or a little break in the knee. We want to keep the hips nice and tall. I want the body moving forward. And we're just going to let him go through his trail leg slides here. And as you can see, he keeps that toe pointed toward the shin, and he slides right off the hurdle. Also, whenever you do your trail leg slides, do it against a fence or a wall so that that keeps the leg folded so that it's going to be perpendicular to the ground. And if he were really coming off a hurdle, look at the position. Look where his foot would land. It would land just mere inches in front of his touchdown. This is what's going to launch him down the track. If there was no wall here, if he was able to just run and there was nothing here stopping his fence. Let's say there was a fence here, but there was, there was no gate here. I mean, no fencing here. Okay, no links then he would be able to swing that foot forward and he would drill this over and over again and he would get used to just swinging his foot out. Also, you want to make sure that you rotate all the way in front so that that trail knee is going to come all the way around. Let's go back a little bit. And notice he's going to come all the way around until his knee comes in between the elbows. See how he's in between the elbows? You can see a little bit of his knee being shaded by his elbow. We don't want to see the elbow obscured. We want to see the knee obscured by the arm. 